these places picked? How were the uh, targets uh, selected? And basically, uh, you can go into any animal laboratory and you'll find that the same problem exists. Down for a second lateral bang. Uh, <laughs> that's him waving. That's his trainer who taught him how to do those tricks. <laughs> Any major university or major hospital is doing vivisection for the most part. They get a lot of money and grants doing it. They had to break the doors in to get in there, but they uh, they exposed a lot. This is where britches came out of UC Riverside. They were doing blind deprivation tests, eye deprivation tests that even the students were doing at UC Riverside. His eyes were stitched shut with very coarse sewing material and then his head was bound up. Richards has a plastic uh, contraption taped to his head at birth. This little neurotic monkey who missed his mother so much. It was a noise that was constantly piped into Richards' head. I listened to the tape. The tape was screeching noises, just banging noises, sharp, sharp sounds that would make anybody flinch. Eventually, he ended up uh, with a mother monkey somewhere else. What really upset me more than anything else was reading the researchers' protocols, which we did at Peter later, and learning that, of course, they could have studied blindness in human infants, but the researchers were just too damn lazy. They didn't want to drive to the homes of uh, parents who had a blind child, and work with the child, it was just too much effort for them. So it was much easier for them to break the mother monkey's heart to ruin this infant animal's life. I worked about 15 years in a mid-city emergency room, and one of the things that you really come in contact with all the time is pain and suffering. It's something that uh, is very disturbing when you're actually uh, in face-to-face -face contact with it. and we dealt on a daily basis with this and it was actually during that process that I realized that human beings weren't the only individuals that were experiencing pain and suffering and I um, the more I learned about our relationship with the animals and what we were doing with them the more distressing it became to me that nobody was really addressing the issues of the pain and suffering of these animals because Pain and suffering is pain and suffering, regardless of what sort of organism you're talking about. Whatever your species is, whether you have a tail or not, those criteria are just as irrelevant as what your race or gender are. Because there is no good justification for our believing that we are superior to animals. Now, it's true that they can't design uh, spaceships. It's true they don't compose sonatas. We don't run like the wind. 
We don't have the grace of the gazelle. We don't hear with our feet like elephants do. I do believe that our relationship with animals, our relationship with our natural world, is going to have a profound effect upon our ultimate fate. And when we take that next qualitative leap in our own thinking, in our own moral evolution, then we will see that we have evolved. Nobody in our movement has ever hurt a living thing. Most of my friends I know have been in prison, some three or four times, but never before. I've had my grandson in jail, I've been to jail, my daughter's been twice in jail, my youngest daughter. I couldn't live with myself. If I just lived here and, you know, didn't try to change things. I spent half my life feeling such pain for the animals and the other half such hate because it's the hate that people can make money out of suffering, you know, innocent creatures that have never hurt us and that we've got a government that calls itself civilised and we're the enemies. Nobody in our movement has ever hurt a living thing. We've had four of ours get killed. One was my beautiful daughter. <laughs> went and run up. She always put her hands up like that and she'd always be took away by a copper. We've got our lives on hold for this and we will be in stop. Even if someone gets hurt, yes. someone will eventually get hurt. Oh Lord, how many times will I die? With every heartache, tear that I carry, lovely human being. Will I find my path, oh Lord, how hard I try? How many times will I die? And she didn't deserve to die. Oh Lord. We were all pushed behind this barrier of police and the lorries would come in and it all went quiet. And then somebody said, somebody under a lorry. 